Well, that's a great question, but it's based on a false premise. The nine commandments in the letter are no more. The Ten Commandments are finished in the letter, but they remain in a spiritualized form. So the best text to explain this, and you should read this carefully, would be 2 Corinthians chapter 3, that the law written in stone on tablets of stone, as to say the Ten Commandments given by through Moses, are no longer. That's amazing. And he calls it in verse 7, the ministry of death. So if you want to say to me, oh, I'm going to work keeping the Ten Commandments, wonderful. In a sense, not wonderful in another sense. That's the ministry of death. It was engraved in letters on stones. It did come with glory, certainly. Sons of Israel couldn't look at the face of Moses because of the glory in his face, but it was fading. It was on the way out. Now then, what really counts is the ministry of the Spirit, which comes with greater glory. And that's the ministry of Jesus, his explanation of the Ten Commandments. We already saw he did things with the Sabbath, which were outrageous. But if you're Jesus, and if you're greater than the temple, you have a right to alter the law. And so the Ten Commandments, I repeat, in the letter are no more binding than, say, any other law of mixing your fabrics in the Old Testament. Anything like that is gone now. So please realize that the Ten Commandments are now to be in the spirit. Yes, you mustn't commit adultery, but much more than that, you mustn't think adulterous thoughts. Jesus has taken this whole thing to a much higher level. He came not to destroy the Torah, but he came to fulfill it, to give it its ultimate new covenant meaning. That's a very important lesson.